is show me time again. Yup, you heard it right. I'm reviewing a Xiaomi product again. And it's not my fault that it's so affordable while having a good design. And I've been wanting this for the longest time. So, here's it. But how does this Xiaomi Mini Vacuum perform? Let's find out together. And everything starts with its design and outlook. Look at this. It matches with Xiaomi other home appliances like the 360 security camera and even their robot vacuum mod. Review in the links description below. So, to check it out. Included in the box is the vacuum itself, a USB-C to A for charging, a power brick, and a two different nozzle for a different situation. A long but narrow for vacuuming a narrow place, and a nozzle with a brush. And that's all we got. Casting other accessories aside, let's focus on the vacuum itself first. The first impression that I got from picking up this vacuum is this is a heavy ass vacuum. But it also indirectly reflect the build quality. You know you purchase a nicely built product the moment you pick it up. It weighs just 0.5 kg. But for its size, it feels a lot more heavier. Looking around the vacuum itself, there's only three places that we interact with. The first is a lock mechanism that opens up the vacuum for cleaning purpose, a two-stage power button, and at the bottom, a USB-C port for charging. A simple and nice design that resembles a flask. But if there is one thing I need to nitpick from it, it's the way of charging. We have to place it sideways in order to charge it. A included dock would be nice, but that is just me trying to find a bone inside an egg. So don't mind me. Moving on on how it's performed. The official side shows you has a powerful suction that have a 13,000 PA, also known as Pascal pressure unit. But that doesn't mean anything to us, the common folk. Ah, yes. Xiaomi does provide this handy illustration to show the power of its vacuum. It can easily lift a laptop computer. So let's do some testing on it. First off, let's start off easy with an iPhone weighing around 180 gram. Done. Next up, an iPad Pro which weighs around 480 gram. Am I testing this wrong? I even used a second level of the suction. The official illustration shows a Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air 13 inch that weighs around 1.28 kg. Just how? Nonetheless, it can't easily lift our laptop. But don't let this test let you think that this vacuum does not perform. It actually performs quite well when you actually use the right nozzle. If you are just vacuuming your laptop or even your desk, just put on the brush nozzle and off you go. Brush and vacuum to hard content. Want to reach a narrow place or higher bookshelf? Slot in the extension nozzle and pair with the brush. Off you go again. Level 1 vacuum is only suitable for dust or grain that is easily liftable. You may need to turn on level 2 if level 1 is not sufficient. Human is a lazy animal, especially me. And if you don't make it easy for ourselves, we might be too lazy to clean. And with this small vacuum that is lightweight and easy to carry, I find myself vacuuming my room more often, so it serves its purpose nicely. With all this cleaning and loud noise coming from the vacuum, the one that hurt the most is not our wrist or our ear, it's the battery. According to the official information, a fully charged vacuum is able to sustain 30 minutes of usage under level 1, also known as standard mode, and a mere 9 minutes while using strong mode. After several days of testing, it seems to be true. You can even feel it the moment you turn on the strong mode. It heats up instantly. But in a normal usage scenario, you rarely hit the mark. If you intend to use it as a portable vacuum that will be used occasionally when a small grain accidentally spills, you will not use this for more than 1 minute in strong mode. After that, back to charging. And the last and most troublesome part of this vacuum is cleaning. It cleans for you and now it's your time for payback. When the indication light blink red and white alternatively, please clean up the filter. Luckily, the process is simple. Unlock the lock and open it. Rotate the mesh filter and pull the filter out yourself. 
If you just want to do a quick cleanup, just use a brush to remove the dust and dirt attached to the filter, and you're good to go. A deep clean process will require you to rinse it with water and dry it thoroughly before putting it back. And that's it. If you want more technical detail on this vacuum, you can always check the Xiaomi website. But overall, I'm happy with my purchase. It performs its job nicely, paired with a nice design, and that's all I want from a product. But I do hope you have a better battery life to reduce the charging time. And that's it. Like and subscribe if you want to content helpful. Thanks for watching. Ciao.